Hi, I'm Rudy Torres, 46, and I have sleep apnea. I honestly have no clue. I have no idea what it is. I know it's a sleep disease. Uh, well, sleep apnea is, is a problem um, getting adequate um, oxygen during sleep. And that can lead to uh, a person waking up frequently at night uh, because of low oxygen levels. Um, sometimes the person may not even be aware that they have it. Um, I realized I needed medical help uh, last summer when I was waking up in the middle of the night and I was sitting on my bed. Usually it's, it's less common certainly is in children and as you get older it becomes, it becomes more and more of a problem and you, probably the usual age um, that we would see somebody with that is, is probably in their 40s or 50s. Serious enough to where I sleep with it every night because he was very specific. He said if you don't use this you're going to die. They might, again, have excessive fatigue during the day. That would be a very common uh, problem. Uh, whoever, if, if somebody is seeing them uh, sleep at night, they may know, they may tell the person that they're waking up a lot or that they're snoring a lot. Yeah, very tired, very sleepy. Well, short term, again, you can have uh, a lot of problems with concentration, fatigue. Uh, it can lead to problems with uh, uh, diet, mood, so it can really have a major effect on your life in the short term and then if, if you don't get treatment for it all of those problems can get worse as you get even older and it can lead to other things like diabetes and heart disease and high blood pressure. Too. Uh, the only way to treat sleep apnea is with the CPAP machine. CPAP uh, basically allows you to breathe at night, it forces air through your nose and uh, it if you use it consistently, it solves the problem 100%. And basically the thing turns on by itself at 10 o'clock and you sleep the whole night through and it records your breathing and your uh, sleep process. So. It's actually pretty simple. All you do is you put it on. It's got an on switch. Turn the switch on and automatically it's already set to your pressure, your uh, temperature requirements. So you just put it on and sleep. Uh, some, of the, some of the features are, it has a water reservoir and you fill this up with water and it warms the water so that the air you're breathing is properly moist. Uh, has a filter on the side here or dust and pollen and all that stuff. Um, it actually records how many hours you slept at night and how many events you had. Uh, this one is showing 0.3, so that's less than one event per hour. Uh, quite an improvement from 120 some times I used to stop breathing an hour. Um, Shows the mask seal, if it's leaking, the humidifier, if it's working. And then it also shows how many times you used it in the month, in a 30-day uh, period. How many hours per night you used it. And how many hours total uh, you used it in a month. So basically, that's, that's it. Uh, they are set to each individual's pressure needs. So when you get the machine, somebody sets it up for you. And that is basically it. It's pretty simple, pretty quiet. You don't wake up the neighbors with this like the old machines used to. Never had a problem with it. I tried it the first night and my sleeping was so bad that it was the best thing since sliced bread. They absolutely need to get it diagnosed because uh, 60% of all strokes are believed to be caused by sleep apnea and 50% of all heart disease comes from that condition. Okay. Well.
Good day.